Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. Boy, it's been a pretty long time since I've actually uh, sat down and made a vid. I've been working on quite a few video ideas, but um, but things have been really busy here at school and so I am, um, you know, have to focus on my studies and stuff, but I'm wor really working on videos and now my exams are coming, my final exams, and after those are done, I will finally have time to sit down and start grinding out videos like I used to, where I used to basically maintain a daily upload. So I'm going to really try to get back to that probably mid to the end April is when I'll start doing that. But anyways, for the time being now, we do have another pack to open. The first Grand Acquisitions pack is now available only for this weekend at the very high price of 1,000 cartel coins. If we read the description here, it says it's an unparalleled selection of items from the cartel contraband and bounty shipments uh, from the cartel market. Uh, each one contains a boost item, okay, and then a reputation item for the Contraband Resale Corp and the Bounty Supply Corp, and it can also give you Cartel Market Certificates. Uh, hopefully we'll get one in this pack opening, and then one bronze item or better with a chance of silver or better, and then uh, one bronze armor set with a chance of the silver or better armor set. So it doesn't really guarantee you a silver or a gold like we've seen the Grand Nightlife packs. So when you'll see me compare this one to the Grand Nightlife packs a lot in this video, and then, it, but it does guarantee you an armor set. Now what I'm going to actually do in this video, and you'll see that, is I'm going to do a comparison. So I do have some Grand Nightlife packs sitting in my inventory, and I'm going to open them as well. But before I get into that, let's quickly talk about the reputation, uh, because that's kind of one of the big things here. It is giving you those old reputations. As you can see, I have Legendary status with the Contraband Resale Corp. The reason being, you can actually get to Legendary status for very, very easily just using the Contraband slot machines. I do have videos up on this. I'll post some links in the description. You can go check those out. So that's not a really big deal, but the Bounty Supply Company, I am looking to get that. So as I was saying here, the Grand Nightlife Packs. Now, the Grand Nightlife Packs contained four items. It guaranteed you a silver or better bonus item and then one bronze or better. So it guaranteed you a silver. That's one of the reasons why gold stuff, just gold armor sets, gold mounts, dropped so much from the Grand Nightlife Packs. And uh, as you guys could see, the Grand Acquisitions Pack will set you back 1,000 cartel coins each, while the Grand Nightlife Pack only costs 750 cartel coins. So it was actually cheaper and in my opinion, just from reading the descriptions, it's a lot better to open. Uh, but one of the reasons I'm even opening the Grand Acquisitions Packs in the first place and making this video is because a lot of you guys uh, might be thinking, since I looked at the Grand Nightlife Packs in such a positive light, it had amazing RNG, it was just like... You know how the first Grand Acquisitions pack guarantees you an armor set? Well, the Grand Nightlife packs get basically guarantees you an armor set. I'm going to open the few here because I've been talking for way too much, so I might as well start opening them. Uh, it also gives you an expanded die module kit, which is like a guaranteed thing that sells for a million credits on the GTN. And as you can see, we're going to get a gold item here. It is the Dathomir Rancor. Look at that. A gold mount right off the bat. And let's see if we can maybe pull out another gold thing. Um... Okay, so no, a silver mount and a silver toy. But trust me when I say this, like gold stuff drops out of here like crazy, like never seen before. And we are gonna get another gold, oh my god. There you go, right off the bat. Two log cord armor set and a Dathomir Rancor in under five packs. That is insane. And honestly, I can't say I'm surprised. And another gold item, oh my gosh. And this is the Mandalorian Clansman's armor set. So that basically illustrates my point very, very well. Uh, although the first Grand Acquisitions pack guarantees you an armor set, so you might say, well, that's pretty cool. The, look, as you can see, the Grand Nightlife packs basically guarantees you an armor set as well. I just got three gold armor sets and two silver armor sets uh, out of five packs. And then on top of that, it gives you the expanded die module kit, which does sell for a million credits on the GTN minimum, or you could open it and try to get one of those platinum dies. So it gives you a lot of bang for your buck, and it did cost less cartel coins. It only cost 750 cartel coins. All right, the Grand Acquisitions Pack. Let's see if this thing can hold up to the Grand Nightlife Pack, because that's kind of the standard I'm holding it up to, and that's one of the reasons I'm opening it. I'm kind of hoping it'll have the same RNG. Uh, so the Ald Statements armor set and the red-backed Gizka. So two bronze items. That's as good as a... Well, that's what any uh, normal cartel pack would give you. So I'm not sure why you would want to pay a thousand cartel coins for one. Not off to the greatest start here. The next pack here will contain the uh, a pet and um, the... Okay, I guess that's an okay armor set. Uh, we'll see what it sells for. A lot of these armor sets are old. Oh, we got a gold. The Cartel Decadent Skiff. Eh, that's and then the exquisite dancer armor set. Okay, the thing about a lot of these items is they are very old, so that's kind of why um, you might want to buy one of these just to either collect them or maybe you could, they could net a good price on the JTN. I will check the prices after I do this pack opening. The dynamic sleuth there is another kind of good armor set, but not as many golds as the other one was giving you. Ooh, the relaxed uniform. This one's a good one. I know that one will sell for a lot. Okay, so there you go. Uh, only one gold item. So. 
the RNG doesn't seem to be as great as the other one. And the reason being, as I mentioned, the Grand Nightlife Packs guarantees you a silver or better. So that one item basically has a very high chance of being gold. Uh, this one, both of them are set for bronze or higher, which means that, you know, the, the armor set is probably going to be bronze. And then the other thing, as you can see, I got some like some pets and stuff. So you won't be getting as many gold items. You'll be paying for more. But as you can see, they do indeed give you cartel market certificates. So if you are looking to try to get um, to rack those up to try to get some of the good stuff from the reputation items at the cartel bazaar, uh, this is kind of a good time to stack them up. But it's going to set you back a lot of money if you're paying cartel coins for them. Uh, hopefully the prices won't be too crazy on the GTN for the packs themselves, but the Grand Nightlife pack sold at around 7 to 8 mil, so I would probably think that these are going to be either that or higher. So if you do have like some credit stashed up, you can go and buy them. Let's see what these are going for on the GTN. Uh, because as I said, a lot of them are old, so maybe they're going for a lot just now, but I do think the prices will drop for a lot of them. Um, the Cartel Decadence gift at 58 mil, yeah, I guarantee you it doesn't sell at that price, but it probably nets a good 10 to 20 mil maybe for someone who's looking to get that old mount. Then the Relax Uniform, I know this one will sell for a lot. Um, yeah, everything else isn't good, but the upper body armor is what sells, and that's, as you can see, is up there for 45 mil. Uh, once again, probably doesn't sell at that price, but it's up there in the millions. And then the Dynamic Sleuth, it's kind of a little bit lower. I don't think it sells because that thing's been reskinned time and time again, so it's probably not going to sell at that high of a price. I'd be happy if I net like one or two mil off of that. Let's see if I'm missing something else. Okay, the Exquisite Dancer, let's see what that sells for. And this type of skimpy clothing often tends to sell for a lot. And once again, we're mostly looking for the, uh, oh well, the lower body armor selling for a lot too, and the upper body armor. So it's, it's up there in the high like 10 to 20 million credit range. Um, so yeah, I mean, some of this stuff is good. I do want to quickly mention that one of the ways Bioware kind of advertises this part, this pack particularly is it calls it the best of items, uh, which means that they've kind of, if you look in the collections tab, you'll see that there are hundreds of items in these packs. There are three packs, right? The, the Cartel, the Contraband, and the Bounty Pack. So there are tons of possible items you could get. Bioware has made it seem like they've kind of taken out a lot of that junk and crap and only put in the really good items. But uh, as you can see, I am getting like these pets and stuff. So how much they've streamlined it, they don't really let us know. Um, you know, maybe, I guess, maybe I'll open one more just to kind of see if we get anything good. I'm really iffy on this. I mean, if you were going to ask me whether you, I think it's worth it to open it, I would have to answer no at this point. Uh, sure, it does give you the chance of getting a Revan's armor set, but just looking at the prices here in the GTN, like it was just so much more worth it to open the Grand Nightlife packs because they gave you so many more gold items. And uh, Tula Cord, I got, I got pretty lucky with getting the Tula Cord and the Dathomir Rancor, but the thing I want to emphasize is the chance of getting a gold item was really, really high with the Grand Nightlife packs. Uh, that's what I wanted to show in this video. I didn't expect to get this lucky. But, um, but with the Grand Acquisitions pack, the RNG is a lot worse. Um, so don't be expecting a lot of gold items, I guess, if you open them. And most people are only going to ever be able to open like three or four, even if they pay for the cartel coins, which means, you know, their chances of getting something really good are pretty low. Um, and would you want to buy it off the GTN for eight to 10 mil? I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't. Uh, I would maybe buy uh, Grand Nightlife packs if they're still available on the GTN for that price. You know what, let's open one more and this last pack will determine whether it's kind of worth it or not. Let's see if maybe we can get super lucky and get another really good gold item or, um, or if it'll just give me crap. Yeah. All right, so let's see. And no good gold item. I got a crappy die and the classic conservators armor set. Yeah, that really makes me question whether Bioware has done that so-called streamlining of, oh, we're only going to give you the best of items. Uh, look at that, selling for like, what, the supplementary is for 15K. The upper body armor is selling for... Let's see here, uh, 165k, so complete crap, complete crap. Just because it's an old armor set doesn't mean it's going to sell well, right? But some of the other ones were selling pretty well at the Exquisite Dancer, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get that. You could get a lot of other junk. So in my opinion, too much junk, too high of a price, not good enough RNG. So therefore, not really worth it in my opinion. Don't be confused. The Grand Nightlife packs were amazing. They were the best. And even though this is a grand pack, very similar in design, it's just not worth it at all. 
Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do still want to open it and try your luck, I wish you a lot of luck. May the force be with you. But other than that, remember that this deal is only lasting for the weekend. And uh, I'm working on some other videos. Uh, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.